watering. Um, I'm not going to go too far onto it, but putting it by the soil is best. Your plants don't, they, they technically use water in the leaves, or if anybody's a biologist, I don't want to argue with y'all on that one, as always, but they don't, they don't want it there. They want the soil on it. If you put it all on the canopy in the leaf search, you're asking for diseases. If you're going to go drip, drip irrigation works wonderful. You're going to go, you want more of a two week, you don't want to have to do it. If you want a raised bed style, soap roses aren't cheap. Soap roses are cheap for a reason. If you're going to go that route and want just a one and done coast right here, look at, look at drip two week. It'll be about twice the cost in the last five years versus this stuff will last about a year. The problem with soap roses, while that was a good technology 30 years ago, it's 20 foot long. The first 10 feet get 80% of the water. The last two feet, Drop it, not, and it just gets worse as that as it breaks down in the sun. The beauty of those drip tubes is every single foot of power lines and drippers are in the exact same amount of water. So you can stake that same thing, you know, every single place that dripper is, exact same amount of water, no matter what. If you're limited on your things and you want to go with these, we did that in LSU that's really fine. Ideal watering times for any garden, any plant, you're gonna do a bump head, <laughs> four to six a.m. If you're not an early riser, I suggest you buy a clock. We'll do it for you. If you're an early riser, you won't put breakfast enough until you'll be outside. You're busy. You can't go breakfast with everybody else. Why won't?